Getting started with GB Timelapse EOS. I've installed GB Timelapse EOS on this Windows 7 netbook computer, which is tethered to a Canon Rebel T2i. Now, now I will start GB Timelapse for the first time. It displays the trial activation dialog. The dialog shows a URL and a request number. If I click this URL, it will open my browser to the trial activation page. After filling out the activation form, it will give me a, an activation code to enter here. To save some time, I did this earlier. Here's the activation code that I got earlier. I'll double click to copy it. And then paste it in to the dialog. And activate now. It's been successfully activated. And the first thing I have to do is choose which camera group my camera belongs to. Some newer models and some older models. The T2i is in group number two. And it shows that I have 15 days remaining in my free trial. Here are the main camera controls. A tab for controlling the shutter. A tab for controlling the time lapse functions. A tab showing a list of connected cameras. None are connected now. And a tab showing a list of tethered cameras. None are tethered now. A camera is tethered when it is attached via a USB cable and switched on. Now I will switch on the Canon Rebel T2i. See, it's been recognized and automatically connected. Now that it's connected, the camera setting controls are visible. Auto exposure mode, shutter, aperture, ISO, and on the setup tab, we're going to save images to the computer, image quality is small normal, and other settings. I'll go to the shutter controls and click the press button to capture an image. The image is captured by the camera and downloaded. The images tab always shows the most recent image from the currently selected camera. Here are the camera settings when the image was captured. Here is the name of the file the image was saved as. And here's the image histogram. It looks overexposed, so I'll decrease the ISO and press the shutter again. That's better. I can also press the shutter button on the camera and GB time-lapse will capture, capture and download the image. If the camera supports live view, you can control it from the live view tab. I'll start live view. Here it's downloading an image every 500 milliseconds. I can speed it up or slow it down. Live view is useful when you're composing the shot. See here, I'm moving the camera. You can also save the live view images as they're downloaded. This is a way to get lower resolution images at very short time intervals. See, it's recording. Now I'll turn off live view and return to the images tab. capture time-lapse, just set the time-lapse interval and press start. A window comes up showing the progress of the time-lapse. You can see that each image is stored in a folder named for the project. Untitled is the default name. And in a subfolder named for the date and time when we first started capturing. I can see a preview of the time lapse in the movie preview tab. If I click pause, 
I can manually scrub through the images captured so far. That's just the basics. In other tutorials, I'll show how to create projects and run them on a schedule.